I'm Steve Tang, President and CEO of the University of City Science Center. I'm proud to be a member of the Innovation Advisory Board. This has been an invaluable opportunity to focus on innovation and the role it plays on economic competitiveness. Throughout this effort, one theme quickly became clear. Innovation and entrepreneurship are important, but they alone will not lead our country out of our current economic downturn, nor sustain our bright future. As Intel co-founder Andy Grove has noted, scaling, that is transitioning from the startup to the manufacturing phase in a company's early life, is the key to capitalizing on innovation and creating good jobs. The United States must return to our great tradition of scalable innovation that led to our economic prosperity. I'm fortunate to have lived in most of my life in the greater Philadelphia region. Our region can serve as a case study of the steps needed to realize that goal. Greater Philadelphia's ecosystem of innovators and entrepreneurs as well, is well positioned to support mechanisms for innovation that can be conceived, then further developed and scaled to benefit our entire nation. Other regions in our country could also scale innovation into jobs and prosperity in their own ways, based on their own unique strengths and assets. Just as Silicon Valley nurtures great tech companies, Greater Philadelphia is the cradle of the life science industry. And that's important because a thriving ecosystem must consist of more than just our great academic and medical institutions. Industry must be part of the equation as well. Research parks, business incubators, and other economic development agencies can serve as innovation intermediaries or linchpins to connect con uh, creators of emerging technologies with investors, suppliers, and users of those technologies. Through those connectors, we can maximize the value of early stage research and in turn accelerate technology commercialization to create high paying jobs. The future of our nation's economic competitiveness will rely on the collective strength of our nation's regions where high innovation capacity is translated into industries that can generate job growth. However, it will take a combination of strong leadership, collaborative public-private partnerships, and dedicated innovation intermediaries, both regionally and in Washington to get us there.